we started out with clues. And yeah, now it's what? Still it's too <laughs> And um, everything lit in y'all love when it's hot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? We, you guys, we got to go find another paw print and put it in a notebook. And you know what to do after that. <laughs> blues, 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 blues. How about what's up with my boy Steve? I can't watch Blues Clues without Steve. I'm sorry. I was a big Blues Clues watcher. I think that was my second favorite show behind Clifford. Clifford was my first and then Blues Clues. Them the type of shows I used to love watching back as a kid. I didn't, you know, to keep it real, I ain't seen Blues Clues in years. But I didn't even know Steve was still going at it with Blues Clues. He the GOAT. Why are you leaving, Steve? I feel like I just wanted to get the explanation of why Steve is leaving. What's the, why? <laughs> You're a legend. <laughs> you got to find another paw print. I found a lot of paw prints with Steve. I found a lot of paw prints. What's up, Steve? What you leaving for? Let me hear something, man. Dang. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot my intro messing with you, Steve. I'm turned, <laughs> mad he about to leave the show. Follow me on everything in the description, y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you feel up to it today. If you haven't, take a look. It's merchandise in the description as well. It's different links. Steve, you got some explaining to do, man. It says Steve from Blues Clues delivers a heartwarming message on Twitter. Gotta check this out. Hi. You got a second? Yeah. Okay. You remember how when we were younger we used to um, run around and hang out with Blue and find clues and talk to Mr. Talk to Mr. Salt, Salt and yeah, and tiki, and tiki. Do all the fun stuff. And then one day I was like, oh, hey, guess what? Big news. I'm leaving. Uh, this is my brother Joe. He's your new best friend. And then I got on a bus and I left. And we didn't see each other for like a really long time. I remember that. I remember that episode, y'all. Um, one day, Steve, I actually remember this episode live. This is trippy right now. <laughs> oh, shit. It's super trippy. I remember him packing his bags up, saying, I'm going off the car. He literally packed the whole bag and left the show. That might have been when I started waning off of uh, Blue's Clues because it's nobody like Steve. Ain't nobody like Steve. I'm sorry. Bus and I left. Yeah. And we didn't see each other for like a really long time. Really long time. Can we just talk about that? Great. Because I I realized that 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 was kind of abrupt. Yeah, it was. Um, what happened? I just kind of got up and went to college, and uh, that was really challenging, by the way. But great <laughs> I bet. Because. I got to use my mind and take a step at a time, and now I literally am doing many of the things that I wanted to do. So why did you need to go to college? And then look at you, and look at all you have done, and all you have accomplished in all that time. And it just, it's just so amazing. Yeah, it right? is. I accomplished a lot, Steve, in my little time. You know, I'm just trying to keep things rolling, keep the ball rolling. But I did accomplish things I never thought I would accomplish. You used to tell me that. I found a lot of paw prints with you, man. I found a lot of paw prints with you. I don't understand why he went off to college if he was already a TV star. Uh, isn't he already, wasn't he getting rich from Blue Clues or no? Was he getting ripped off? You know, you go to college, you know, this is just my interpretation. I think people go to college to get the degree, but in really they're going to college to get a a great job you have, and you know start a bigger career and get um to get wealthy i guess wealthy you go to college you can complete it nine times maybe eight out of ten at least the wealthiness because you get good careers and all that he was on tv 
TV people are rich. Well, I don't know if all of them are. I, I don't know. When you get the kids involved and the kids are watching, usually that person has money. A lot of kids are watching Blue's Clues. You ain't get your cut, uh, Steve, or what, man? College. You should have been rich. In all that time. And it just, it's just so amazing, right? Yeah. I mean, we started out with clues. And yeah, now it's what? Student loans. <laughs> and um, jobs. And yeah, families. And families, and yeah. Some of it yeah. has been kind of hard. It's all of it. You know? All of it. I know you know. Yeah. And I wanted to tell you that I, I really couldn't have done all of that without your help. And in fact, all the help that you helped me with when we were younger is still helping me today. Royalties. Right now. Royalties from Blue Clues, right? Cool. I guess I just wanted to say that after all these years, I never forgot you. Ever. And I'm super glad we're still friends. We're still cool. Thanks for listening. We're still cool, Steve. You look great, by the way. Thank you. Whatever it is you're doing, it's working. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You look good too, man. I like the glasses. I like the glasses. Is that it? Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for Mark our Brown, YouTube you channel. Mark Brown, you look like a mayor. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV. All right, Mark Brown, you talking. Man, Mark Brown look like he's supposed to be the mayor somewhere. <gasps> he look like the mayor off of Back to the Future, too. <laughs> mayor. I can be a mayor. That's what you look like, Mark. Steve. So what's next? You ain't really tell us what's next, Steve. You just came on, dropped a quick little message and said, you look great. Peace. <laughs> you didn't tell us when you when we were going to see you next time or if we were going to see you again or what? You didn't tell us what your next adventure was after college. What's going on? You want to leave us in the dark still. You left us in the dark years ago. You packed the bag on me. <laughs> on national TV, you packed the bag. And you left. <laughs> it was even a paw print on the book bag. So I knew that was a clue. You was getting your ass out of there. Come back. Yeah, you know, it ain't too late. Stay. It's my boy, though. We got to find another paw print. <laughs> blues, clues, blues, clues. Until next time, y'all.